Hello and welcome back to another episode of Skyrim Requiem 3BF Tweaks, a permadeath run. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing Diaries of Death, a series where we're exploring Skyrim through the lens of many, many different characters. In this series, this diary is uh, the diary of Patrick the Monk, a troubled soul, who has been drawn into the war of uh, the civil war that's uh, raging without any of his wrongdoing himself so we're currently finding ourselves still in the in the early stages of the game where we're trying to make our way through Riften and I just want to share with you a few tricks uh, that I tend to follow uh, one of uh, them is uh, inside of the catacombs we found a bow called Draven's Bow. It's always there. It's a quest item. It's a relatively good short bow and I am um, sad that I haven't thought about that bow when we were playing the um, Who the, uh, the ranger. Are you kidding me? We're all alone out here except for a few guards. We make easy pick. Not only did they take my bow. So he claims that his bow has been stolen. Don't know how you here. This is all I can afford to give you as compensation. Hope it's enough. Ah, wait, 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 wait. Who are these guys? There's someone running around with a woven armor. It must be a patrol or something. I'm suspicious because they were following us. Let's hope it's not... Let's hope it's not uh, a, a gang of hired thugs. I wouldn't want to go through that. Good. Next up on our agenda, after getting all of uh, those gems, which hopefully will be hel helpful, got ourselves a spider. Uh, quite a big one. That should be interesting. So the way that I would kill these things at the beginning of the game is by actually kiting them. One of the guards apparently helped me, but the idea uh, typically is to kite them and whenever they uh, shoot their web, you can take a lunge at them and essentially kill them. So, back to what I was saying. Normally here, uh, there is no spider here, but there are coins, and even more importantly, a free amulet. And uh, free is never bad. So, we got some extra movement speed and fill a slot that we haven't had anything in. I bought ourselves uh, a bounty uh, from the uh, Yal. But before we do that, it seems prudent that we do a few more brawls because there are a couple of really easy ones and we have a few uh, gold pieces to spare. So let me uh, instigate a few brawls and actually get up our damage permanently. See, we are already starting instigating a couple of brawls. So we find ourselves in Windhelm. I have a plan why I want to be here. But there's always enough time to teach someone a bit of a lesson. More brawls equals more damage in unarmed. Come on, get up, dude. This is getting pathetic, Rolf. Rolf Stonefist, more like 
Rolf kisses the floor. Yeah, here. Good to see you again, friend. They're parasites. I know the High King invited them here, but he did. Wouldn't surprise me. Good. Can't uh, rumble him again. Now off to the actual reason why we're here. Time to pay a visit to this poor boy here. It worked. I did the black sacrament over and over with the body. It took so long. The head. So I ran Good. Away. We're going to. And perform the black sacrament. Now we're definitely going to uh, kill called a good old Grella. But before we do that, getting a few um, consumables from here. All right. Before we head back directly to Riften. Uh, we do have another stop to take. We are off to White Run. Not any time too soon. Because we are heavily overloaded. And one of the reasons why I'd like to come here is we can take a couple of brawls and at the same time I use this here as our safe spot. Currently can't use any of those. Currently don't need a lot of magicka potions. I tell you what, I think we could use the scrolls um yeah and mainly this here needs to find the place i tend to have a place where i store all of that very good uh still plenty full uh, still plenty full of um, room for more loot. Now, we wanted to come here for multiple reasons. The next one I'll show in a second. Seconds. Oh, here we go. Let's take out, uh, take up our next brawl. Just fists. No weapons, no magic. All right, no come on, Uthgird. Let's go. Come on. I never should have come here. This is a broken ah! Some parting advice? Very good. Some are even applauding. Good, that is brawl number four, I think, that we won. I will try to find a few more. Just to get up our uh, unarmed or damage bonus. Uh, unarmed damage bonus. You got me. If you ever need another blade at your side, just ask. Wouldn't mind seeing how you handle a few trolls. You're someone who can get things done. I like that. Fantastic. Good. Well, Chat we got her. I know there is still the option. I'm waiting. I know there is still the option uh, to get another fist fight, but that's a bit more difficult than I can't seem to get the quest started. But good old Carola here, a uh, Carlotta here. We've got no they'll never right now. Gets a bit too much attention from uh, from the males, and you can beat up the guy that is stalking her. But uh, I think before that, a random dialogue needs to happen. So. If I can start it, great. If not, uh, we got our brawl. And time for us to move on and maybe do one or two more brawls in different cities. Good. We are in Morthol. And it's time for another brawl. 
two hands. Weapons and magic are out. Now let's see what Bring you it got. on, Benor. Come on, let's see what you're made of. Straight up fist fight. Okay, cool. You've been a good friend to me. That means something. After I just be, uh, beat him, you've, got, you've been a good friend to me. We're going to continue with more brawling. Alright, so we got ourselves another fight. Uh, this time in... Uh, Markrith, where... This orc is mistreating... The workers! And we can't have that, can we? Well, the ones with the biggest mouth are the ones to go down the fastest. There's a second brawl that we could take, uh, one with when we're starting. Okay, let's finish that quest here real quick. I don't believe it. Someone sticking up for us? They don't yeah. like us talking to people when for we me, work. You've earned every coin. All right then. Okay, so what I was about to say, uh, we can start a second brawl, like right down here, but that requires us to start the Force One Conspiracy quest, uh, which is based on the murder here that happened a bit earlier. I'll look into it and try to start the quest. Drunk, and it's been a while since I had a good fight. Very good. So there is our second brawl. Barehanded. That's the spirit. Let's go. Help! Someone, do here we go. Somebody. Well, Septim's on the big one. Well, that was already done before it started. Kosnak just ate his words, and with that, our second brawl in Markev is done. I still think there is a third one, uh, one with the Forsworn uh, conspiracy, uh, conspiracy, but we're going to do that in a second. Okay, we started the Forsworn legacy, and we're at the point where we need to find out who N is, which is basically two steps in. And... That's where the next brawl happens. Very good. So those three brawls are the only ones uh, that I would uh, know of, at least for now. We should be fine in market. Uh, now it's up uh, to the next camp, which is actually an orc, uh, an orc brawling camp. I figured before we before we do a couple more fights, it's time for Relog the kind to be joining people in the afterlife. Take care, guys. See you later. Good. Off to some uh, further brawls. We're still in the character setup phase. Oh, after all these brawls, I figured before we're going uh, to do... Before we hand in uh, the quest for Grelok uh, and maybe even get uh, scouted by the Dark Brotherhood, I would want to get us a horse and do some solid bandits on the way there. We will need to fight anyways. I need ah, well, I paid Sibby. So let's talk to Sibby for me. Let's Go get uh, the cheapest horse that we could get. You'll be well paid for your time. I'll meet you outside of town. And Frost, as a horse, is a little bit faster than the average horse, plus it will help us uh, to essentially 
<clears throat> explore Scry uh, Skyrim faster. It's kind of one of those stable quests that you would want to do, but it never disappoints. Plus, now that we have finally done our first murder, we got the blessing of Sanguine, and we have done a lot of brawls, so I would be expecting that our punch is much stronger hey, than before. You're not supposed to be down here. Sure, and I'm Queen Baron. Sure, that'll do just fine. Go on ahead. Until next time. Have you come to... Ah, let me get... That is... My... Still, I don't want to cross the trash. Nice try. Then I think we're done talking. Very good. So, Frost's uh, lineage papers need to be stolen. And we just generally need to steal Frost. Uh, that, however, always comes at the cost. Because... Uh, we will need to fight through quite a few enemies. Let me be on the way. We would want healing, paltras, some extra strong mammoth steak, and I think a long time regeneration would be helpful. Everything else we can do on the go. I'd be curious to see how hard we hit. So, time to test out. There's even some Vigilance of Stendar that could help us. But time to test out how strong we really are. Oh, wow. Two hits and the guy is down. We even injured him. Massive damage upgrade. Holy shit, we're hitting like a truck. Yeah, we'll get a damage bonus for every single skirmish that we've won. And we've won quite a few. Cool. So that's a lot, lot better than before. I wonder once we can get smithing and a couple of other perks, how well we're uh, going to be off with just our hands. Okay, off we go to the next bandits. I think there are a couple up there. Be careful here. I remember distinctively that this cave here was a bit of a problem. He's fast and he hits very hard. Luckily we hit hard as well. Maybe just one more punch to get him down. Holy moly. Well, we hit hard, but I think it's fair to say we are a paper warrior. All offense, no defense. Glass cannon build. Lock picking, we could use this. This is a skill book. Helps us to level.
Very good. Staff of Firebolts is not bad. I think we can make good use of it. It's our only range, only real ranged weapon at this point. Taking all of uh, the mushrooms that we can. They are definitely good uh, ingredients. We want to do the uh, the big house uh, with the several guards next. Good time for us to see how many of them we're going to pull this time. Come on, Frost, get out of the way. Nice, so much easier than beforehand. Holy shit, we're doing a lot of damage. Both with our ranged weapon but also just with our fists so it's absurd because we've done all of the brawls in advance it has given us like it's potentially an oversight uh, i would expect it should grow kind of time over uh, time over time but us just drinking being drunk and effectively having made all uh, having done all of the brawls wow i tell you what uh let's put this one in the other hand and that's actually a good setup because i don't need to block Good. Let's get out of here and let's get out of here fast. I'm sure we're getting the whole cavalry behind us. We're doing a lot of damage, but I'm not sure if we're doing a lot of damage against fully armored targets. So that remains to be seen. Not sure why that was firing off. Oh, come on. Lots of orcs, lots of heavy armor. And lots of empty threats, like, I'll rip your heart out. Of course, he just begins to recuperate when I'm starting to hit him. Got Skoma going. Theoretically, Skoma should not be a problem. But it still was blurring our vision. That's strange. So let's re hotkey that to stamina. Real 
And this guy here needs to die. There we go. Okay. Ooh. Steel egg, steel plate mail. They are not joking around, these guys were serious. Still have the staff just in case I need some form of ranged protection. <laughs> we indeed hit hard, but at the same time we're getting hit super hard. Granted, it was an it was a power attack, but wow, this is the very definition of massive damage in, massive damage out. There's one more enemy that we could take. Sometimes there is. Let's see, maybe that guy has moved down. All right, the answer is yes, they have moved down. Time for us to get the papers and trade in Frost. Okay, so finally we got ourselves Frost. And uh, with that, I think it's a good time to increase our skills. And end the episode. So we have quite a few skills that we would want to bring up. Let's start with evasion to 25. Okay. Dexterity, definitely to 25. Cool. I need one hand and, and I also need smithing, but we're starting with one hand for now. And getting that as far as we can, 16 is okay. I think we made quite a bit of progress today. Two times stamina. Just so that we regenerate a little bit more stamina. Health-wise, we're actually quite okay. Not too shabby, nearly 300 health. Granted, it's the only stat that we really have going for us. Alteration 25 would also not be bad, but we don't have the mana magicka to cast anything really. So a few th necessary perks. Number one, we need dodge so that I take l way less damage. Number two, we got brawling and I figure I will try boxing just for attack speed, a bit more movement speed and armor. Uh, penetration comes on top of it but that would also happen with grappling so I think that's good so far with a sanguine uh, unarmed deals a crazy amount of damage I think it's not 100% correct uh, because it's supposed to be one of the least damaging skills there are still disadvantages despite all of the damage like damage is comparable to say a two-hander uh, at this level uh, it just has a much quicker uh, attack speed. The disadvantage, though, is that you need to really go in close. And that oftentimes uh, opens us up for counterattacks. So let's see. We got some... Nice moves. Yep. That works well. Power attack still costs a lot of... Uh, damage 
But the normal attacks are quite reasonable. Our attack combination. Yeah, still ta also takes a lot of uh, stamina. So I think we're, we're better off to just do normal attacks. I wonder if it wouldn't be so anti-climatic. Uh, one solution to immediately make the build better is just give us a shield. And then rock a shield, right? But it is what it is. Um, alteration needs to be upgraded soon-ish. Because 300 armor is not really cutting it. That is way too low. In terms of next steps, uh, next episode we're going to go to uh, do a couple of bandits. There are quite a few actually that uh, that we could do. And then at some point we need to join the Civil War because that's actually starting as well. And Covariant is uh, the first uh, stage there. I think though it would be well advised if we're doing just one more uh, excursion uh, for bandits and get that one going before we move to Kervignan. Okay, cool. Well, that brings us to the end of today's episode. I would say thank you for uh, for watching and if you are dreaming about having such a nice horse uh, like Frost, think about uh, the like button because that uh, might be uh, giving you a chance uh, to at least virtually participate in uh, in having a horse as well. Anyways, that was uh, the best I could come up with uh, on the fly for today. Take care and see you in two days. Bye-bye.